I'm being thing. forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So. so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why sir, don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me in my face right now! She spit in my face! Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. We're sir, not criminals! Please. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Why are you sleeping? Oh, man. You guys really don't know what you're doing in my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, You know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to Marion, Iowa, where we're going to talk about the channel Flex Your Freedoms. Yeah, that's that crazy guy who dresses up as an old lady with lipstick all over his face. I can't recall his real name, but he's a real moron, I can tell you that. Now, I was waiting for his live stream to come up because he said, uh, Is my channel dead? What's going to happen next? And that live stream never occurred. So I'm kind of behind the uh, times here. A lot of other channels have already posted, but I was waiting for that live stream. I may have a, uh, a screenshot of that. I don't know. But at any rate, uh, sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy. I found this video on the YouTube channel, The Frog. I'll be sure to put a link in the description box so you can check out his channel. But I missed this post on Flex Your Freedom's community page, and luckily The Frog captured it. But it says here, thanks to all my supporters through having my back through this journey. Earlier, I had court for my jury trial, and they found me guilty. Oh, dearie me. I've learned a sad and hard lesson that the heavy majority of Americans aren't worth fighting for. I don't know if I'll even continue this channel after today. If we, the people, don't even have my back when the evidence is clear, then I'm not going to sacrifice my freedom, mental health, and money for the American people. Freedom is a lie. Until a real army of patriots rise up, it's not worth the fight. I don't know if I'll go live and address this, ghost a channel, or take a break. I'm ashamed today to be an American. Good luck to all. If a real revolution starts, I'll see you on the front lines. Well, there you have it. Yeah, just so we're all clear, this is Flex Your Freedoms, also known as Grandma. Walks around with the wig and lipstick all over his face. Man, I don't know if he was in action. If he was in Afghanistan and got shell-shocked, but there's something seriously wrong with this guy. Here's another picture of him. Something wrong with you, man. Yeah, you know what? I really think he suffers from some kind of, not PTSD, but something. Really, he's got mental issues. And he's in love with Ming Ling. Yeah, Ming Ling.
I, I don't know where this guy comes up with this shit. Billy Buttcrack News. Uh, oh, man, there's something wrong with him. But anyway, like I said, a couple of days ago, he had this on his uh, YouTube channel. You know, is it really over for me? And I was waiting for that video to come out before I did this, and it never came out. No, it just never came out. As a matter of fact, if you go to his channel now, this is the only video he's got up on his entire channel. Man, you just screwed your entire algorithm taking down your videos like that. I don't care if you made them private or unlisted or got rid of them all together. Your algorithm is shot. But this is the video that he got arrested over. I would play it here, but man, it's got so much foul language in it. It's unbelievable. It's just nasty. And I would would never talk like that in front of women I didn't know. I wouldn't even talk like that in front of women I did know. Man, those words are just too foul for mixed company. Oh my gosh. Moreover, just to show you how unhinged this guy is, this is straight from his community page. He says, seriously, in search of a midget looking to hire at least one midget in Iowa to do a video with grandma. If you're a midget or know anyone in Iowa, please comment or email me. And then he's got his email address there and says, you will be compensated and grandma will give you Mary Jane and Coke. What kind of a bloody moron is going to pay somebody with drugs and a midget? Man, um, mm, well, that's not politically correct, and we won't go into that, but there's something wrong with him. There's something really wrong with him. So I don't know what's up with his channel. Maybe this whole thing is a publicity stunt to get new viewers. But I tell you what, at one time, his channel wasn't doing well at all, and then all of a sudden, just overnight, like somebody turned the switch, it took off like a rocket to Mars. I don't know, man. Uh, usually, statistically, that does not happen, but it did in his case. But at any rate, we're going to let it go just like that. We're going to let it go. Not to worry, Grandma. We'll always love you a long time. Oh, yes, we will. But if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel like Grandma, please subscribe. <laughs> As always. Thanks so much for stopping by. <laughs> Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So you assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, no. Yo, you're racist. Katie racist. Oh, you're racist. Oh, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Uh, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You're going to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no reason I'm really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy. You did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You, you just me? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salami hala handula, alu akbar. Hark nuik on the kra! Ula wala fufatai!